Shut up and sit down. Right, so something a bit different here, as I've already got this thing somewhat set up. I don't know if uh, um, my little 118 scale place I normally do stuff isn't going to be sufficient, so I'll have to work out with lighting and stuff how I'll do things um, in terms of once it's all built and the stuff. But for now, we'll uh, crack this thing open right here on the kitchen floor. So... Uh, let's do this and crack this open. Right, put this little knife away. <sighs> Luckily, it's late night and there'll be no airplanes flying overhead as I'm near Heathrow Airport. Alright, so get this box open here. So slide this bad boy out this way. get inside so there's this thing at the top and it's got instructions with how to put things on I heard it's uh, from awesome action toys quite laborious to do so I'll probably do that whilst watching a bit of TV uh, let's take a look at this thing so here are instructions how to put the uh, padding on I'm going to minimize the use of the soft goods I think as much as possible so I'm going to use it uh, in, in certain places but I'm going to try I want to try and make it my own in terms of how it looks and maybe not use that big bit over there and these bits and the bits on the back this bit I'll see if I can get away with not using that, but it looks like it's needed um, to cover up that sort of crotch area. We'll see. So looks simple enough. I think it's just look. That's it's just one page. It's just um, putting the stuff on. So here are the bits inside. All these pads. Look. Oh, all these little um. Little all these bits, the fit bits there. All of that looks really good in, in person. Velcros and everything. Is that, is that two bits or is it just the one? Okay, it's just that one. So that doesn't even look like too much. So hopefully I'll be able to do that with some ease. And here is, for well, myself, is that not really as, as heavy as I thought it would be, but still uh, you know hefty as you can see there's his skelly-esque head so it looks like uh, this thing is kind of in there with the rest let's take him out <sighs> all right so oh, first impressions he's uh awesome <laughs> This thing is amazing. I've no, this is my first Joy Toy Mech, so you know I was I was gonna get the Fear, the first Fear one, because um, I'd seen it for cheap, uh, cheaper online, and then this was announced and um, had the words limited edition and this skelly head, so I thought oh, I've got to get this now, don't I? Look at that. Feels good, like sturdy. All right, so this can that be removed? It's Velcro, so yeah, it can be. All right, I'm in. I'm in. Be able to do this. All right, let, let's uh, check out this a bit of the articulation here with the so his head. 
moves there. Oh, look. So it's actually got this bit here. Down there. And it can go higher. <laughs> but that neck, that is not really uh, aesthetically pleasing, that kind of neck. But it does mean if you put this down, his neck can be a bit higher. So you can kind of angle it however you want, I suppose. I don't know how I had it now, or it's supposed to be. Uh, so, kind of like that. So you can, yeah, angle it so it's a little bit higher than normal, and then that bit will cover it. Or oh, just pull that off. <laughs> a bit of hair there. Anyway, so that piece can come off. Right, so ratchet joints. It's got a butterfly swivelly bit there. So that goes so <laughs> stand him up there. Okay. Nope. Articulation. Worst articulation video thing. It goes all the way around. And this goes up. Like all the way up there. Um, so that is. Does this bit move? Hold on. Bend. Oh, there we go. Okay. So the bend is there. All right, ship joints. Yeah, nice. Look at that. Pretty good. No muscles, but. His hands, fingers are all individually. Uh, Articulated, as you can see here. Look at that. Um, oh, there's a swivel there. What else we got? See all this stuff on him. It's difficult to see. But if I take it all off, it's going to be uh, a nightmare putting back on. So I'm going to have to really figure out which what I'm going to one on there, leave one and take off and things like that. Um, so I know from Awesome Action Toys video, there isn't a uh, waist thing there, but he's got to have some sort of, oh yeah, there you go. You can move, move like that. Uh, you can, let's see if he can do the Jean-Claude. Jean-Claude, oh, get this out of the way. Jean-Claude. Oh, fear his balls. So about up to there, look. So there is a joint there. The legs. All the way up. And then, get stuck in my skinny hands. That goes all the way back. Look at that, oh my gosh. Unnecessary, but awesome can do that kind of movement. Uh. And then this. Oh, what is that bit there? That's interesting. What does that do? No idea. I'll have to figure out what that does. Maybe it's for the uh, soft goods. Ooh, it's a piston just come off. So that bit there connects to this thing. Oh. Let me try and get that back in. <clears throat> Please don't break toy. <clears throat> All right, so it just clips on like that. Just be careful with that, it could uh, just pop off. It's an interesting place to put it though, because 
Obviously it's going to hinder it. You can get up to about there. Oh, it's a double jointed, so it's got a bit there. No. Nah. See? Ah. <laughs> yeah, be careful, because once this bit comes down there, that'll pop off. So you need to have it set up. When you bastard. Pull it down again. Right, and so this bit moves side to side. Oh, there is a swivel up there. Nothing for the foot bit down there. Toe. And he does have back like that. Forward all the way like that. I think that's really all. I need to check for articulation. Oh, he does some, some sort of. Ooh, look. Got some ball joint there somewhere. Okay, so he doesn't need the waist, he's got it on the ball bit up there. That's pretty cool. Ah, right. So, yeah, I'm going to really get into this guy. See how this thing opens up as well to put in a. Someone inside. So yeah, just a little uh, quick look into his articulation before I put him all, gear him all up. Ah. Oh, sorry, it's just actually in my excitement. I've just forgotten to really just go through it properly. So he looks so here. Let's see Some detail there. In the way, soft goods. But if you look, considering that all this is under, going to be under the armor, a lot of it, all that detail there is amazing. So yeah, excited to put the stuff on him. See how it goes. Right, so I've just taken off uh, all the soft goods and checked to see if it's, you know, I'd be okay with this bit. And I quite like this bit here because it reminds me of um, Barbatos. Um, from Gundam, but I quite like their design, so I'm going to see how it looks with that and the armor pieces. But I've taken off all these soft good bits, which, uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain trying to put them all back. Um, but with this, you can really see how the articulation works. Because here, you can see these there's pistons here as well. Look, see, so when you move it, just like. Um, Gundam Batos, so it does remind me of that, um, and yeah, so that's how he looks without the soft goods. This bit here is um, quite easy to take off as well, let's just take these bits off. There. This bit comes over the top, goes out like that, now it's got these bits here, so they go to the bottom bit down there. Just goes, clips in there, it 
go. Oops. Why is it not going in? Mind that properly. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to carry on. Alright, so these are just my initial thoughts on the uh, Joy Toys Fear 2 Mega Strike type. Um, it took a while kind of making them the way I, I wanted it really. Uh, removed a lot of the soft goods. Um, putting this stuff on was a bit of a pain but um, you, you can sort of um, some of it is easier than others some of them fit on better than others too um, but once it's done and you've got everything all in place the way you want it it just looks really good it's a definitely a looker so, um, yeah, happy with it. Um, it's not without its flaws. I'll get into that in a more in-depth kind of review. I just wanted to really go through things right now, get them together and kind of do first impressions. But, um, yeah, I really like him. I, I just think, so for example, these shoulder pad bits here are really bad. They really don't fit on uh, that well. The shins do to get them in the right place. Um, these knee pad things are just like soft bits, they're just trash. Uh, this bit is okay, these kind of click in, um, but yeah, I took off a load of the other bits. So, this bit here I left exposed. I kind of like it like that, like um, Gundam by Ratos, but uh, this bit because and also because you can see the pistons and stuff, I quite like that. And I just like the bike and it's in that slim bit there. So, yeah, quite late here in the UK now, so just wanted to really get them together. But I really like the look of them in the end, he looks amazing. Don't fall down, fella. Oh. Yeah, just it was really um, a labour of love, I'd say. Uh, so, some people may feel differently about it, but just I just love his look. Um, this skelly face look with the, the bulkiness to him. Um, the scum, the fingers that all move. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll get in, in, in more depth. Yeah, I'll go into in more depth on it once. Um, busy weekend for me. You've got to go and see family and stuff like that. But um, I'll try and get something out on the weekend to uh, conclude on this uh, Fear 2 Mecha Strike type. So, yeah, thanks for. Uh, watching you guys and supporting the channel and everything and uh uh tired now so i'll scare you later